In this section, we're going to go over some of the advanced features available to you during your call, including hold, transfer, and conference. Now we're going to go over the hold function. This feature is especially handy when you're either taking another call on another line, or you have to leave the phone for a moment. Now let's show how it works. I'm now engaged in a call with my colleague Bob. To place Bob on hold, I simply have to go to the context menu, which is brought up by pressing the right arrow key on the touch guide. I then press down, and the, first, the next option available to me is hold. I press OK, and Bob is immediately placed on hold, as you can see by the icon on the top left corner of the screen. I can then go ahead and either get away from my desk, work on my computer, or take another call on the phone itself. To bring Bob back on from hold, I simply go back to the context menu, select reconnect, and press OK. Then we continue the conversation as before. It's also possible to make this process even shorter by use, making use of the free programmable keys on the right side of the display. As you can see, I have a hold free programmable key programmed in the phone. To put the call on hold, I simply press the free programmable key and Bob is immediately placed on hold. To bring him back online, I simply press the FPK one more time and the call continues. Now we're going to discuss the transfer feature. There are going to be a number of times where I simply can't answer a question or I'm just the wrong person for the call. So it's really important that we can instantly transfer the call to the right person. The OpenStage phones feature three different methods of call transfers. The first method, known as blind transfer, is where I simply transfer the caller to someone else and my phone hangs up the second I press the transfer button. The next option is what we call a semi-attended transfer. With the semi-attended transfer, I stay on the line long enough to hear that the phone is actually dialing through to the destination and then I can choose to terminate. And finally, there's the fully attended transfer in which I transfer the call and I stay on the line long enough to either make an explanation or an introduction. All three of these options are extremely easy to do and we're going to show how they work right now. All right, so first we're going to show the blind transfer whereby I immediately transfer the call and my phone will hang up after the call is pushed forward. So, to do a blind transfer, the first thing I do is open up my context menu by pressing the right button on the touch guide. I then scroll down with the down button and press OK on blind transfer. I then press the number and hit OK and the call is immediately transferred over and my phone is free to be used again. I can also do a blind transfer even more quickly if I take advantage of the free programmable keys on the right side of the display. All I have to do in this case is press the transfer button and then the number, press OK and the call is transferred. Now we're going to show how to do a semi-attended transfer. The idea behind semi-attended transfer is that you want to make sure that the call is actually being forwarded. While blind transfers are advantageous because they're so fast, uh, sometimes you want to make sure that the call is actually being passed forward to the next phone. To do a semi-attended transfer, I simply press the right arrow key on the touch guide and the first option is consult. I press OK and now Bob is put on hold. I then press the number I want to forward to and OK and the call will start to ring. As soon as I hear the ringtone, I know the call is going forward, I simply press OK to complete the transfer and the call is forwarded. And now we're going to demonstrate a fully attended transfer. The usefulness of a fully attended transfer comes in when you need to either pass on some information, an explanation, or maybe an introduction to the person the call is being forwarded to before the call is actually transferred. To perform a fully attended transfer, press the right arrow key on the touch guide to get your context menu and press OK for consult. And to the number you want to transfer the call to, press OK. As soon as the call picks up, I now have both calls connected. Now I have two options. I can first scroll down to complete transfer and press OK if I want to just make the transfer right away. Or I can use the alternate option. In this case, I would talk to Hans, explain the situation, maybe make the introduction, and then I would alternate back to Bob to let him know that the call is ready to be made. By doing that, I've scrolled up and I've pressed alternate. I can then scroll back to Hans and explain that the call is coming. When I'm ready to make the call, 
I scroll down to complete transfer and I press OK. At this point, the call is being automatically transferred, my phone will hang up, and I can go back to doing my work. We're now going to talk about the conference feature. It's a very typical business situation where you have to speak to more than one person at the same time. The number of parties you can have in a conference will vary depending on system setup. The open stage phones themselves support three-party conferencing, but with the communication system that the open stage is connected to, it's possible to dramatically increase the number of people you have in a conference. However, for today, we're going to focus on configuring the three-party conferencing available with the open stage phones. Now let's show how it works. Once again, I'm engaged in a call with my colleague Bob. The conversation is going into matters regarding finance that neither of us have quite the level of depth on that we need, so we're deciding to bring in the controller, Hunts, to help us with the financial details. To use conferencing, I simply go to the context menu, which, by the way, shows up usually during the first 30 seconds of a call by default, but after that it disappears. So if you have to use the context menu to set up a conference or hold or any other option, after 30 seconds, simply press the right arrow key on the touch guide. The context menu shows up and the first option you'll see there is consult. I then press OK to begin the consult process. At this point I have to dial Hans's extension and then press the OK key to dial. Hans is now picked up and so then I get a new context menu that shows up showing the options available to me. I scroll down with the down arrow key on the, on the touch guide and press OK over conference. Hans, Bob and myself are now engaged in a three-party conference call. Nice and easy. Call forwarding is an extremely useful feature that helps you guarantee your availability and make sure you never miss a call even when you're away from your desk and your open stage phone. Open stage phones let you set up a list of up to five numbers to which you can potentially forward your calls. Let's show how it works now. Call forwarding gives you two options. The first and easiest is being able to select the default number from your favorites list and have all calls forwarded to that number. To set that, press the call forwarding button and then simply press OK to accept calls forwarded to that new number. From now on, all calls will go to that number. Alternatively, you can choose another device to forward your calls to. For example, if you're going to be working from home, or if you want to take calls on your mobile, or if you're going to be working out of a hotel. To do this, press the call forwarding button, and then scroll down with the touch guide, and select OK on Edit Call Forwarding. Scroll down to Destination, and press OK. Then, use the up and down arrow keys on the touch guide to pick the number that you want calls to be forwarded to, and press OK. Scroll up to Options, Save and Exit, and press OK one more time, and now you have a new designated number for call forwarding. Now, if you want to use that new number, simply press the call forwarding button and hit OK on the Accept option. From this point on, all calls will be forwarded to this new number. To turn off call forwarding, Simply hit the call forward button again, and then OK to accept. Call forwarding is off, and calls will once again be forwarded back to the open stage phone. Deflecting a call is extremely useful for those times where you simply can't pick up the phone. For example, you might be in the middle of something that's taking all of your attention, and you have to forward the call straight to voicemail. Alternatively, you might be on the way out of the office, and you want to deflect the call to your mobile phone so you can take the call on the go. Either way, it's extremely easy to set call deflect, so let's show how it's done. To deflect an incoming call, simply wait for the context menu to appear as soon as the phone starts ringing. At this point, the context menu will have several options. I scroll down using the touch guide to deflect and press OK. I'm then presented an option to enter a number to which I'm going to deflect the call. Press in the number, and then press OK to deflect. The call is immediately sent off to the new number. I can even use the free programmable keys on the right side of my open stage display to make the process of deflecting a call even easier and faster. I can actually preset a number, for instance the number of my voicemail, so that with one button I can actually deflect a call and then handle it later and get to my work right away. So, as I wait for the incoming call, I then press a single button 
and the call is automatically forwarded to my voicemail, letting me continue to work and essentially get to the call and to the message when I have time.